Welcome back, folks. Today we are going to look at the doctrines in the Cepheus Protocol, because what order should you pick them in? What are they? Which ones are good? Which ones are maybe not so great? Uh, what order would I pick them in? Stuff like that is what we're going to look at today. Uh, I was asked to make a video like this, so uh, of course I will do that. And my first pick is definitely the 40% price drop. It costs two Doctrine Points, and you earn, of course, Doctrine Points by killing infected, earning experience from infected, picking up the DNA, killing the the spawning pods, the, the, any infected, the basic infected car gets you one XP, uh, the mutants get you eight XP, either the spitters or the, the big uh, bulky ones. And then there are the Juggernauts, which give you 50, and the uh, the Leviathans, that give you 100. The Spawning Pods give you 25 XP. But, of course, you have a science. You have to have a scientist to pick them up. But two uh, Doctrine Points you need to unlock uh, this one, the 40% price drop, in the Engineering Core. And the 40% price drop, well, it really explains itself, doesn't it? Anything that costs money costs 40% less. You just, just can't argue with getting that first. Now, there are more uh, or less expensive uh, doctrines that you can unlock first. You can unlock uh, the grenade launcher, which costs one, the dual barbed wire, the electric fences. They all cost one, and even the Charon costs one. But getting the 40% price drop just makes everything that you buy cheaper, not the doctrine points. The doctrines cost what doctrines cost, but anything that costs money is cheaper. So, for instance, the mortars here would normally cost uh, 20,000 uh, with the 40% off, which you have to get anyway to, to get the mortars. So it's uh, maybe not the best example but uh, they actually cost 20,000 the mortars each but because you get the 40 percent price drop they cost 12,000 to buy it so everything is just cheaper with the 40 percent price drop and there's just no two ways about it it's the best uh, doctrine that you can get first uh, there's just no way around it in my opinion now next I would go for the grenade launcher. It costs one uh, doctrine point, and it is just, uh, it's a lot of bang for for the buck with, uh, with one doctrine point. Uh, these, of course, go on your assault infantry, and they give your assault infantry a punch that can mm, really help you take down the, the juggernauts early on. So getting the grenade launcher early is, in my opinion, a very, very good investment. If you are under a lot of pressure uh, in the early game, I think it's okay to go with the dual blood wire and the electric fences. But in my opinion, save up for the mortars as your third uh, unlock in the Doctrine Tree. The mortars are great. They give you basically artillery. I think a mortar is an understatement for what these things are. Uh, they are basically uh, artillery that can cover almost half the map. So getting mortars early can really, really help you out. Uh, not only can two of them easily take down a, a spawning pod very, very quickly, uh, but they also give you ways of protecting your infantry as you advance, uh, setting up uh, uh, ground fire in to, to help protect your infantry's flanks, stuff like that. I really think the mortars are very, very good. And at four doctrine points, I think it's worth saving up for the mortars as soon as you can, basically, uh, after the price drop and the grenade launcher. Uh, but of course, as I said, if you were really, really under pressure, uh, getting attacked a lot, then probably the electric fences are worthwhile. Maybe the dual bot wire, but not as much in my opinion. The next thing I would go for is I would again save up and I would go for the gas attack. The gas attack is fantastic. It 
doesn't do anything to spawning pods or anything like that. But when you go out on the offensive, it basically clears a big, big area uh, of infected, uh, just taking them out immediately. And the toxic gas lingers a while. Uh, so any that spawn while you are attacking, they just get killed as well. It's a great, great, great uh, attack that you can call in. And it's worth the six doctrine points that it costs. No, no doubt about it. Now, the next thing is, in my opinion, going for the mule, maybe. Mm. Uh, and before, I would say going for the mule and the minigunner. But actually, now that things have changed and you can't uh, call in more than one minigunner, I would go over and go down this tree. So I get the Charon just because I want to get the Shawnees. I want to get the Shawnees. The Shawnees are awesome. The Shawnees are absolutely amazing. They are juggernaut killing machines. Uh, and they are in Leviathan killing machines. So having two of them in a, in a group uh, is really, really helpful to take down Leviathans and Juggernauts. They pack a really hard punch and can give you a lot of aid early on in the, well, not early on in the game, mid-game, uh, to, to, to really uh, uh, shore up your defenses, but also to support your attacking forces in pushing, because they are an aerial presence that really helps you out. So it's one, four, and six doctrine points. I would save up for that next. Now, now that we're talking about uh, vehicles, in my view, none of the land vehicles are worth investing in. I just don't see a need. The Cerberus, the Mutt, the Mule, uh, they're just not good enough. They're just not good enough. They take so much fuel. They, they guzzle so much fuel that it's just not worth uh, investing in them, in my opinion. So the only reason to take any of these is to, to get to something else, uh, like the white phosphorus or getting down to the minigunner or getting down to the surgical strike. That's the only reason to take the ground vehicles. But aerial vehicles, the Shawnee is awesome. The Merlin can, can, can carry your capture truck. So that is amazing. So spending the four uh, doctrine points on getting down to the Merlin, or, or to the Shawnee, sorry, is well worth it. Because you can just pick up your capture truck and put it down anywhere. You can carry, I think it's 32 infantry you can carry on the Merlin as well. So it's really a, an excellent vehicle for you. And it's worth having one. Even though it's situational, it's very worthwhile. Now, so just to a quick recap. We started with the 40% price drop, then the grenades, then down to the mortars, the gas attack. Maybe before, if you are really under pressure, the electric fences or the dual barbed wire. But get down to the gas attack, set up a bunch of mortars, and you are pretty well defended and in a place where you can go on the offensive. Next, go for the Charon, the Merlin, and the Shawnee, mainly to get down to the Shawnee so that you get uh, the air power there. Now, the next thing I would do is probably take the Mule, uh, which costs three Doctrine points, but only to get down to get the minigunner, which costs five doctrine points. I wouldn't buy any mules. I just want to get down to the minigunner because the minigunner is insane. It, the minigunner sprays so many bullets at the infected that it's just basically a wall of bullets and it's fantastic. It's not as good as it used to be because you can only call in one and they actually cost 6,000. Uh, to call in. That's not a lot now, but it might be when you actually unlock them. But getting the minigunner is pretty darn good. The next thing I would go for is probably the dragon gunship. 
the dragon gunship is dangerous. So in order to get the dragon gunship, or obviously you need to unlock the electric fences, cost one. The active denial system, which I haven't really used, I haven't had the need for it, really. So uh, that costs three, but don't really need it. But the dragon gunship can pack a really big punch, but you do have to be a little bit carry. It does do friendly fire once in a while. So uh, be careful. But the dragon gunship is great. You do need a spotter to call to call in where it is. So you need, a, of course, a radio operator. And the radio operator can then uh, call in where the, um, where the gun sh should be firing. But it is a great uh, doctrine. It does a lot of damage. So going down there, getting the after denial cost three, and then getting the dragon gunship that costs uh, five is uh, worthwhile to me. Now, the last things we have left are the Mott Javelin Surgical Strike, and we have the Cerberus and the White Phosphorus. Now, I would go for the Cerberus and the White Phosphorus first. The Cerberus costs three. I, again, I'm only getting it to unlock the White Phosphorus. White Phosphorus is an airstrike like your airstrike down here, the carpet bomb at 1500, only it's white phosphorus. So it burns and it burns for a while and anything that gets caught in there is pretty much dead. So the white phosphorus is a good airstrike, but costing, uh, well, three plus six, so effectively nine doctrine points I wouldn't go for it too earlier. There's more value, valuable things to go for. And in the end, I would go for the Mott Javelin. Javelin is good for your assault trucks or assault uh, infantry, sorry, but they don't have enough ammo. The assault infantry doesn't have enough ammo to, to be worth getting the Javelins, in my opinion. So the Mott costs two Doctrine points, the javelins cost four doctrine points. And then the surgical strike, which I think is a very, very nice uh, attack. Uh, but, uh, and it costs six doctrine points, but I don't think it's worth getting that because of the pricing here, two and four, uh, before anything else. It's everything else is just better than that, in my opinion. So there's my thoughts on the order of opening up the doctrines. So a quick recap. Uh, first, 40% price drop, maybe the electrical fences if you really need it. I, otherwise, mortars, gas attack, then, uh, sorry, let's redo that. 40% price drop, uh, grenade launcher, maybe electric fences if you need them. The mortars, the gas attack, then uh, go over and uh, go all the way down to the Shawnee, so the Charn, the Merlin, the Shawnee. Then uh, open up the uh, minigunner by unlocking the mule and the, the minigunner. Then jumping over to the Cerberus and the White Phosphorus. And in the end, uh, Mutt, Javelin, Surgical Strike. I hope you found that help helpful and uh, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope as again, I found that you found it helpful and uh, I'll see you in future videos. Bye bye.